Sagittarius, here we go. Sun, moon, and ascendant for May 2024. Here we go. Wow, this is a good thing. Relationship energy is stable, is positive, is supportive. Uh, might even be uh, an opportunity for you to get connected to some kind of business venture. You know, I know we're talking about love uh, here, but it does look like someone you love may want to participate in something business-wise with you, okay? Or may support you financially in some way. That's a good idea and that's a good thing. If you're in a relationship, a love affair, uh, there may be some truths that are spoken this month and that should help you um, plan for a future. And some of you may decide that the relationship you're in is not worthy of your time. And the others will be very happy to stay um, in a relationship, but with more perimeters and more clarity about what you need and what you don't want. Okay, so that'll be on the Sagittarius's mind um, if they are in partnership and if they're looking for relationship. I don't know, it looks to me like if you do move towards a relationship in May, you may conjure up old relations. That is not what a Sagittarius really wants. So be careful with that. If you are in a relationship with someone, I think if that conversation happens that I spoke of, it'll really help save the day and make that relationship a better one. And I do feel that those of you that are, are dating, I don't think this is going to be a good month for you to find what you're looking for. That's probably because you're supposed to be with a Leo Sagittarius and Leo's got the same silly love reading and maybe you guys can find each other in June. <laughs> That would be a good thing. But your Sagittarius men will love your Leo part. Right? Because the Leo and the Sagittarius make a really good couple. <laughs> All right, so let's see. The overall for you, Sagittarius, is sorry. The overall for Sagittarius is learn from your mistakes in past relationships. Not just romance, but all of them. If someone says they're a jerk, they're a jerk. If someone says that they don't like something, they don't want that in their life. If someone says they don't want kids, they're not going to change their mind. If someone says they're not interested in you, they're not interested in you. Don't try to change anything. Respect it for what it is and move on. As far as I'm concerned, this is going to be a super good month for most of you. Sagittarians going to find yourself in a stable situation with finances improving. And to me, that's a good thing. Now we're talking about health. Honestly, I think that you might want to take up walking, <clears throat> running, dancing, aerobics, uh, anything to do with, you know, fiery movement, even hot yoga, that type of a thing, swimming. Um, surfboarding, no, paddleboarding, thank you, dear. Kayaking, too, is another good one, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, it would work for you. Um, so as far as your health goes, it, it, it does tell me you don't spend a lot of time looking at your health, which you should. If you have skills that aren't, you aren't using, you should probably do that. So for instance, if your health isn't really good, you should probably look at options that are alternative to help yourself. For instance, using herbs, different alternative healing modalities. That type of thing would be very helpful to you, Sagittarius. Okay, I hope that's overall helpful for the month of May. All right then.